Welcome back to Metropole TV, The Smart Investor. This is Ali Khan Sachi, and we've got a great guest with us for the second half of the show. Thank you very much, Engineer John Tanui, for coming in. Engineer John is the CEO of Konza Technopolis Development Authority, um, a semi-autonomous government agency. Engineer, first, I'm going to throw you a curveball because I see here that you worked for a long time at Huawei. Yes, I did. How do you see, because they seem to me to be in the middle of this escalating trade war, and when I look at Huawei in Africa, they are in the bloodstream of the telecoms infrastructure. How do you read, if you don't mind, how do you read the situation right now? First, thank you, Ali Khan. It's good to be uh, in Smart Investor, uh, in, uh, Smart uh, Investment uh, Program. Thank you. Uh, the trends globally about uh, technology are changing quite fast. And I think uh, the trends uh, all over the world uh, is quite sensitive in terms of competition, mm. in terms of being ahead of uh, the other. So you have geopolitical uh, trade issues, uh, but uh, globally the issues of... Uh, uh, safety, cybersecurity, it's a global issue, it's a global trend, it doesn't matter the defender, it doesn't matter the, the, uh, the source of the product, it, it's a concern for all the professional and the uh, users of, of technology. Uh, so what's happening uh, is that it's, it's, it's a trend that is a new emerging issue as um, a country. I think uh, we have the professionals who are capable to handle uh, solutions deployed uh, we have uh, policies, uh, we have administrative issues and technical capabilities to manage uh, such uh, emerging issues. So I don't see a risk uh, in terms of Africa, in terms of technology-wise. Uh, it's only to prepare for those emerging issues and how to navigate it and to empower people and to ensure we have the, the capabilities in our people to manage uh, the solutions and products deployed. Thank you for answering that. Now, let's yes. jump to Konza. Yes. You were telling me earlier yes. that you've got an $800 million commitment from the government. Yes. So you're sitting on the cash. The cash is not the issue. Now the project is taken off. Yes. We have strong commitment from the government. Yes. And the commitment is not only within the investment inside the 5,000 acres of land. Yeah. There is also commitment on the infrastructure surrounding Gonza. So it is much more than the figure you have said in terms of the commitment by the Kenyan gov government. They acquired the parcel of land, 5,000 acres of land, 60 kilometers of Nairobi. And these are to be developed into a city from mm. a greenfield. So we have commitment to build the infrastructure on the first 400 acres of land, and this is to provide the amenities of a city. And we are talking about world-class infrastructure. So as we talk now, there is a contractor there who is currently working on the infrastructure, including the roads, electrical uh, works, uh, waste, distribu uh, waste treatment, uh, water treatment, all the amenities that is required in a city. So, so you're putting a 21st century smart city? Yes. Is that what you're doing? We are doing that. Yes. Um, first on that, and also we are working with many agencies, uh, other government agencies, mm. ministries. We are working with, with Ministry of ICT to see that locate, uh, the, one of the national data centers is located at CONSA so that we can use the data center to give us uh, smart city uh, services and smart city facilities. So it will also be smart and world-class infrastructure. Engineer, what we know is, it seems to me, you're like build, trying to build a platform, right? Yes. It, it, a, a platform which, a pan-African platform, yes. is what I think, you, from what I was reading. Yes. Now, you've got to crowd in. It's, you've got to crowd in local people. You've got to crowd in international people. Mm. Have you reached a tipping point now? Have you got commitments you can put on the table and say, Ali Khan, I got the Koreans. Ali Khan, I've got these guys. Ali Khan, I got those guys. I'm, I'm off and running. I've reached my tipping point. My thing is going to go, grow like wildfire. Because there's been a lot of skepticism and it's been a bit of a slow fuse. So Ali Khan, I can assure you, the required foundations mm. for CONSA's takeoff is in place. Mm. There are two key requirements to drive success of CONSA. We marketed CONSA, we planned it as a smart, world-class infrastructure. Mm to have world-class smart infrastructure. This, we have it in place. In terms of the works have just started, funding issues have been sorted, so this is done. Mm. The second part is we are looking at this to be a global hub of innovation and technology. 
And that, that, you, that's the mission. That's the mission to yeah. make it a global also, hub of you technology. Had digital, you had some a digital mission there as well. Yes. Yes. To really drive the innovation aspects of the country. There are a mm. lot of efforts that has been done, but this needs to be done in advance and mm. CONSA will play that role. Mm. And for us to achieve this, we call it the Silicon Savannah. Mm. Just borrowed from the word Silicon Valley of the US. Yes. And if you look at what has been done in some of the world's best innovative locations, mm. including the Silicon Valley, including the Recite Triangle in North Carolina. These are some of the These top, are the ones you're aspiring the top to. top world innovation and research locations. Mm. They are linked with universities, research institutions. But you haven't got any universities. So done. we've worked with the Ministry of Education mm. to ensure we locate one of the top research institutions in CONSA. We engage, uh, the, the, we worked with the Ministry of Education and we got support from the Korean government. Yes. To I was lo looking through that. Yes. They seem to be backing you, engineer. Yes, yes, yes. And they have uh, supported us to set up um, a research institute which will offer master's and PhD programs in science areas, STEM, mm -hmm. what we call science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And this will be critical for us in the journey for innovation, technology, and what we are calling knowledge economy. Mm. So we've got the funding, we've started the, the re design, we've procured the consultants who will do the, re the design of the physical infrastructure and the curriculum. We expect the construction to begin uh, beginning of next year. So yes. this also will drive now the innovation part. So we have the driver for innovation, we have on the other side um, the, the, the world-class infrastructure. Mm. Yeah. So do you think now you've got all the ingredients to bake this Konza cake? We have now, where we are now we can say we have the pillars in place. Yes. What we need to do is now complete those works, uh, complete the, 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 the designs of the university, start the construction of the university, start admitting the students by t uh, end of 2021. We should have the That's students. your target date, is yes. it? Yes. This other infrastructure, also our target is by end of 2021, we should have the infrastructure ready in place. So parallel now what we are doing is actually to attract the investors there. So are you are you on an investor roadshow? Are you yes. going and talking <coughs> to investors? You've said you got this success with the South Koreans. Who yeah. else have, has expressed a strong interest with you to come so in? So currently we are targeting several kind of investors. Mm. First, we have opportunities for provision of office spaces. So yes. we are looking at those people who can develop office spaces. We are looking at those who can develop uh, residential spaces, mm. uh, residential units. We are looking at those people who will now develop the city support system like hotels and other facilities. And we have advertised this. It's open. It's mm. there on our website. And uh, we already got uh, uh, good response. And we are processing. We have bought local uh, investors who have expressed good, interest. Good, because are, are, are local yes, investors yes. showing interest? Yes, we have local investors within the country, mm. within even the neighborhood of Konsa. So we have uh, great interest from the local uh, the Kenyan community. Uh, also, we have international investors. We are mm. from South Africa who are interested even in real estate. Others mm. are interested to set up um, uh, hospitality. Others are interested in uh, hospitals. So we are at that stage now we are processing so that they can start the constructions to match with the other infrastructure. Mm. So the project now is, is taking off and we are inviting those who want to be part of this great uh, infrastructure, great opportunity, a new economic driver for our country. It's, it's, it's a new green field that you can look at Nairobi 60 years ago mm. and you have third chance in concert. Wow. Mm. And for you, what do you want to achieve in the next 12 to 16, 18 months now? What, what, are, what are the key milestones for you? If I'm looking, at, if we're coming back to you, mm. what would you like to say is happening to confirm what you're telling me? So first is to complete the works we are, that we are, yes. we are doing. Uh, we are working on the infrastructure, is to ensure that we give to the promise mm. and to give to the plans to achieve world-class infrastructure in terms of development. We ensure, ensure that we provide smart city facilities. Mm. This, this is the first priority. The second one is now to attract both local and international investors to this location. And the third is to ensure that we ensure these uh, investors who have come can get the right support in terms of settling fast, as accessing the necessary government support, access, accessing any necessary incentives. Uh, we recently have the Special Economics uh, Zones It's Act. an SEZ. Uh, we are looking to ensure that this, uh, what is provided for in a, a SEZ is availed to investors in concern. 
And tell me, engineer, sometimes, you know, you're, you're now trying to create a pan-African platform, right? You want to compete across the continent, yes. is the way you're looking at it. Yes. What about human capital? I mean, talent, are we going to be sort of Rwandan in our approach? Anyone can come in who's an African, you know, and, and present themselves. Do we have an open mind towards creating? Because it's a lot of things, the infrastructure, but it's also the, the soft, mm -hmm. the fact that you get really lots of talented mm -hmm. people in the same place, mm -hmm. right? Yes. How do you feel about that? So the advantage is that we are not running CONSA in isolation with the other initiatives done by the mm. country. Uh, the, you've seen the efforts to, uh, by our leadership to make Kenya more open, more accessible to the rest of Africa. So we believe this will be also open, especially to professionals. Mm. The best talent that can come and support uh, those who want a location to innovate, this will be an excellent location for Africa. Mm. If you want, uh, you have a great idea and you come, you come. This is one of the locations we would want to attract. How are you aligned? I, I, you know, my first story today was about the World Bank giving Kenya $750 million specifically mm. for the Big Four. Mm. How do you fit in? How do you synchronize with the Big Four? First, I know you're a flagship <coughs> project. Yeah, yeah, first we are under Fission 2030, 30. which is a blueprint for the transformation of the country. And mm. our project is one of the flagship projects within the economic pillar. Mm. And uh, the Big Four is actually uh, uh, part of the big vision of the country. And within that, for the Big Four, we play some role. One, this is the location where research and innovation in across those three will be done. So we believe we will play a role. Second, uh, we have a failed uh, uh, space for housing. So mm. the necessary agencies, the ministry. You're doing, uh, you're doing affordable housing. We will have failed um, land. We have actually a failed space, mm. Uh, mm. about 15 acres of land for affordable housing. We are working with the necessary other government agencies to facilitate uh, that process because it's still at the initial stages. For hospitals, uh, universal health, we are working to see that investors in uh, health provisions mm. are located in, in, in CONSA. Uh, in terms of uh, food uh, security, we are looking at how we can work with um, life sciences uh, mm. enterprises uh, in terms of uh, who focus in health, uh, in food, in terms of uh, whether it's research and also actual even production because we are working also closely with the three counties uh, neighboring Konsa, Majakos, uh, Kajiado and Makweni within the buffer zone, there's a 10 kilometer buffer zone to see how we can collaborate so that also- so you get a, a spillover effect. Yes, spillover yeah. effect. So we are working closely with the other agencies in regards to the big four. Let me go back to this idea of mm. a proximity and mm. density. Mm. You know, if you look at Silicon Valley, mm. you had Stanford, mm. you had this incredible venture capital, a risk-taking capital that understood the economy that mm. you're trying to create in concert. Yes. You know, several times on my show, people have come on and we've been speaking things. For example, let's take Jumia, mm -hmm. billion dollars of losses. Mm -hmm. There was no way they could have raised the capital here because people would have just seen that billion. You go to New York and you can raise that money because people see you trying to build a pan-African business. Yes. They see a first mover advantage. Do you think we also need to create a culture that is more like that venture capital culture in San Francisco? South Korea has the same thing. Japan, SoftBank, all these uh, people who came up. How do you be a catalyst for that? Um, it's true. Uh, there are great mm. examples you've mentioned. Mm. But as a country, we must start somewhere. Mm. And I think we have to advance. I think in comparison with the rest of Africa, we are somewhere. Mm. But uh, of course, we need to advance. We need to mature the ecosystem to ensure that we have what uh, startups that can be invested. We have uh, built the ecosystem for financing because uh, those are the, the, the issues which are still there in the market. But a lot of efforts are going on uh, across different uh, parts of uh, within the government and the private sector to see how do we advance this ecosystem to see that we are able to attract capital, both locally and uh, from outside, and even to change 
the kind of uh, thinking of investments as a country that indeed we can invest in startups mm. and see that locals can start investing and that way will attract more investments. That's right. Yes. I, th I think you're completely correct because yesterday mm. someone was telling me we yes. raised a lot of money for startups mm. but it's not been raised here. Yes. It's all coming from abroad. So. But at the same time, you want to, it doesn't matter to you, does it? You want to have both of them working so that one plus one can equal yes, something Yes, we more. have to have both, but also we have to grow internally. Because mm. if you look at those uh, jurisdictions you mentioned in mm. the U.S., in Korea, the local players are, are the most significant. Mm. So as much as we are enjoying uh, the advantage of FDIs in startups, investment in our SMEs mm. from outside, we need to see also how the local uh, can start playing and investing, especially the young, uh, the ideas that are developed by our young people, that they can be invested uh, by, by the indigenous people, mm. so that when the external comes, uh, they, they can now grow even better and there is better ownership within the country. So you, you're sounding very optimistic. You're sitting there telling me, Ali Khan, I got the cash, I've got the platform, and I'm, I'm about to put my foot on the pedal. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes, um, Ali Khan, uh, Concert Technopolis mm. project has taken off. Yes. Uh, we are still, of course, at the very initial stages of takeoff. Uh, we are at that stage now. We are uh, attracting investment. Uh, to develop the necessary facilities, especially now the particles, the buildings, and start hosting these businesses and working with the, the other agencies. There are many agencies that are working uh, to see that the ecosystem is built. Uh, within the country, I think now we have uh, entities that are focusing on research mm. to see that research, research is funded. We are seeing uh, other agencies who are looking that the SMEs can grow. So all of us working together and uh, within cons are looking at the location to be an excellent location, world-class infrastructure, a smart location, and ensuring we partner with the universities to have this excellent research institution located at CONSA. We will create a new potential for our country. Wow. Mm. What keeps you up at night? This great dream, uh, yes. it's, it, it represents a great future. Uh, CONSA is quite uh, sensitive to many of our people because it mm. presents a potential for employment. Mm. It presents a potential for wealth creation because uh, we're looking at technology, we're looking at innovation, we're looking at knowledge economy. This is a new space for our country mm. and this is an area for our young people they can grow into and the uh, potential is so huge. Uh, some of the interactions we've had even with Korea, mm. besides uh, supporting us in setting up uh, the research uh, institute, we are already discussing now uh, setting up a digital media city within Yes, Consul. tell me about that. That was, I found that interesting. So what? So what they're they're going to fund that or, or they're going to partner with you? We, we receive a grant mm. uh, from them to explore possibility mm. of a digital media city. And uh, when we visited Korea and to see the potentials they have opened for their people mm. within the digital space, because besides when we talk of exports or mm. manufacturing, yes. it's not only about the physical goods. Services. It's services and, 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 and uh, digital products. Mm. We have digital products like animations, mm. film, uh, gaming. The, yes. This is a huge, huge potential market which we can create not only for our local market, uh, East Africa, Africa, it's something we can export. So we are still at the infancy as a country in that space. Mm. Uh, but visiting locations like Korea, within a short span, they were able to create products, animations that are selling all over the world. Mm. They are able to create games mm. that are sold globally. So this is a new possibility for our people. And uh, we are working now with a uh, Korean uh, team. Uh, we got a CRAN and we got a team which we are working with and the various private sector in the country mm. and government agencies to ex explore this possibility. Mm -hmm. And it looks very positive. Yes. So we are looking at the conclusion of the uh, uh, previsibility study which they are, we, are, we are doing with the support of some consultants, including Seoul University. So mm -hmm. we've got excellent experts looking at what we have at the country now, what Korea has done from where they were, and see how we can create this potential for our country. And I'm excited mm -hmm. to see that potential that CONSA is a location, CONSA is a project and a, 
uh, a silicon savanna uh, location that can present to our country, our young people especially. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you mentioned South Korea because Ban Ki-moon, who was the UN Security Sec uh, Secretary General, yes. when he visited here, he once told me, he said, Ali Khan, we were at the same level in South Korea. In fact, he said to me, we were poorer than Kenya. And I suppose you see this giant leapfrog, I think it's the sixth or seventh biggest economy in the world. It's happened in such a short space of time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when you go to somewhere like Seoul, where I'm sure you've been, it, it's like mind-boggling, isn't it? It's it, like it, it's it's unbelievable, unbelievable when you meet somebody mm. who can tell you. You know, mm. the other economies maybe have many years, mm. but within 40 years, yeah. uh, I mean, their story is it's within so. a short span, and they have really transformed their country. Mm. And it's something we can learn and uh, adopt some of these things. And um, seeing uh, the country rank the most innovative economy in the world. Yes, six is, yeah, they're number one, are they? They are number one yes. uh, uh, for the last six years. Mm. And to partner with them, we are creating a highest potential mm. and possibility for us to succeed. So them being our partner in both the digital media city development and the establishment of a research institute, we are creating a serious potential for our country. So it's been a pleasure talking with you today and really I'm so glad to hear that you are so optimistic and that a lot of people I think have got to rethink what they've been thinking, right? That you've really put your foot on the pedal and that you, I mean, there must be lots of young kids out there. From what you've described, you're the platform for these folks who are creating games, who are creating film content, etc. And they should be coming and looking for you from what I've, from what I've heard. Thank you, Ali Khan. Uh, that is uh, the direction, mm. but we are working not by ourselves, we are working with um, many other agencies, mm. and uh, this possibility is, is real, and uh, yes, we are ready to meet uh, young Kenyans and to work together this journey, so three years, four years, six years, seven years, these things will be reality. We'd like to come and see you down there when you're ready. It's been a real pleasure talking to you today, Engineer Thank Tanui, you, and we wish you the best Thank you. on this important project. Thank you. That was Engineer Tanui, who is the uh, CEO of Konza Technopolis, um, which is a Vision 2030 flagship project, and gave us a very uh, optimistic outlook, painted the sunlit uplands. We're grateful for that. And really, that is such an important part of our economy. You know, I remember coming from Mombasa, there was one pop group, then mushrooms, and today when you look at it, there's this, all this talent that's out there which can find a home with you, I hope. This was Metropole TV. This was The Smart Investor. This was Ali Khan Sachu. Thank you for spending the last 60 minutes with us.